my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to the segment where married people wear the same clothes and I know. start looking like each this other. This is two days in a row. Anyway, in this little segment, we are trying those things on the internet that look so simple and easy and beautiful and picture perfect. And we show you what it's like when real people try them. What's today's idea, Kim? You don't know, do you? I, no, I just like, I sat down here and there's a Mary Poppins, young Mary Poppins situation, and there's canvas okay. and crayons, and I feel like we're gonna melt something, but exactly. I'm not sure. Yeah, this we always, is the, yeah. This is the number one request we've had over the past couple of years, and I've always hit ignore on this because I just haven't wanted to do it. Honestly, it looks so simple, and it says simple on the headline, so I felt like, how could it, it. why well, just how could it yeah. possibly be interesting? How could right? it possibly be So blah, 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 blah. So this is a DIY crayon melting thing. Thing. Yeah, so you just like melt a bunch of crayons and it creates art. And I feel like if this goes well, I can finally open my Etsy shop. So here's what you're gonna need. A whole mess of crayons. Some construction cut paper that you're gonna use as a template. Be Stole this off the internet. It's probably copyrighted and we may get sued. Won't be the first time. Won't be the first time. I'm kidding. Not really. Um, this is a, ca a canvas that we got from Michaels, a hot glue gun, beow, 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 and a hair dryer. Well, that's the melting device. How else would you melt it? Microwave. 20 by 20 canvas fits in the microwave. I... You've caught us in a good day in our marriage. Are you gonna shave before this? That's what I sound like. Let's get started. Let's get started. So we're gonna take... Um, I'm just guessing. Is this the first thing I you don't, use? I actually don't know. So I so you have a little thing you stole off the internet and then you're gonna trace it on... I'm gonna trace it onto black construction paper. Notice my, I made mine a little bigger. I think mine's gonna look cute and delicate. Couples that craft together often get divorced. <laughs> Um, so what I'm really going for is accuracy. Really? Some of these things are kind of hard to cut. Okay, the umbrella is about to fall off, but that's okay. Oh, look, just, think... mine has a face. Yours looks like it's wearing a ski mask and about to rob a bank. Okay. Injection. You have to flip it before it dries, honey. Such. No, it doesn't really stick. Wait. So I'm covering her up. Yes, just temporarily. And this is where the directions don't, they kind of fail you. Uh, is that what it's supposed to look like? Yeah. She's like an independent silhouette who's not getting hit by anything. Else. Right. Okay. Basically, this is going to be the negative space, if you will. The crayons are going to drip down. Right. right? So, oh yeah, you got to tape this thing good. Okay. This is definitely not sticking. I got it. Take this little lady off and just put her back on later. Put her back on later. I hot glued her. Never mind. <laughs> so also update. I thought this would be enough crayons. It's not. Let's just jam them all, all the colors, even like ugly brown colors. I was hoping to avoid like the blacks and grays, but I can't. Do I glue it and then roll it on, or like how do I? So you now you have to lift each one on. Oh God, no! I'm not doing that. Ready? Here's dryer. Like this. I'm almost done. Starting to get sweaty. Okay, I tried using just a regular hair dryer and I now covered in crayon splatter, so I'm going to use a diffuser. Oh my God! Oh my gosh. But look how beautiful! Totally worth being completely covered in wax. Yeah, she's flying. Okay. So, yeah. 
Not a big deal. Just need it. All right, so that's mine. Now I know why we have never tried this craft. Super messy. Yep. I don't know why. This is an outdoor craft. This is an outdoor craft. Certainly not on your best surface in the house. Yeah, not on your nice wood counter. Although I think that the crayon will come off, but my hands. And your dress. And my sweater Sorry. are covered. So I, um, my B, this is super messy. It works better with a diffuser. This thing right here. Um, wear aprons and gloves. Painter's tape versus just regular scotch tape. Scotch tape is better. And I would I good. would also cover it up with some like cardstock, with the shape first, and then fit the silhouette in later. Honestly, like that wasn't that important that it stayed on there because I remember the umbrella fell off and I just glued it back on. And I would have paid more attention to make these crayons even up top. Yeah, and, nice clean line right here. And I would not have used duct tape. I'm okay with the duct tape. I hope this helped. If you try this craft, I'm sure you'll do it better, and I'm sure you're gonna leave a picture and tell me why it was better. Not in a passive aggressive way, you wanna help us. But also, who, whose do you like better? Comment below. And don't just be on Kim's side, because everyone's always on Kim's side. Not always, but it's usually because I'm right. <laughs>